I think I'm, I'm inspired a lot by artists. As an art gallery curator and a director, I respond to artists. That's part of what my job is. I don't make art myself, but I feel that a lot of the inspiration I get comes from the very different ways in which artists look at the world. I think the interesting thing about art is that some people just approach it in a very simple way, wanting to have some sort of aesthetic experience or an experience of the beautiful. But I think that what happens is when people spend more time with art and more time talking about it with people, they begin to understand that art actually does more than that. That um, it communicates about the times in which it was made, it communicates about the kind of social atmosphere or situations. It actually can tie back to things like economics or um, political other, or politics or things in ways that people find um, unexpected. But I think that's one of the core fundamental things about art that makes it one of those things that has kind of lasted for centuries. And when you think about the ways in which people actually treasure those things that are artistically made. Recently, I started horseback riding with my daughter. My daughter Hannah's 10, and we now go out to the stables and we ride. And it's, a, it's interesting because it's something I did myself as a young child around the same age, about 10 or 11, and just have gone back to. And I think it's, in, it's fun to just leave the city, go out into the fields, be with those horses and ride. And it's very different from what I do every day, and it's something that we now enjoy. My one piece of advice for young people starting out in life is to actually try and find a career path or something that aligns with what they really want to do. Because my life has been blessed by the fact that my job is my passion and I go to work every day and love what I do. And I think if you can find something like that in your life, it just makes the most remarkable difference.